Well, good morning and welcome to Riverston Baptist Church. Uh, I'm Ben, I'm one of the pastors here. And again, I just want to welcome you this morning as you come to join with us as we, we center ourselves on who God is and what that means for our lives today. And also on today, I just want to wish all our fathers a really, really special Happy Father's Day. Uh, but I, I know for some, Father's Day can be a bit of a tough day, whether that's because our fathers are no longer around, uh, because we have bad and broken relationship with our fathers, or because of separation from our fathers because of our geography. And I know this year, particularly, a lot of us are really feeling that uh, not being able to see our fathers or our children at this time. As we think about Father's Day, I want us to stop and just remember that when we trust in Jesus, we have the greatest father, God himself. In the first chapter of John's Gospel, as he introduces Jesus to, to his readers, he talks about how through trusting in Jesus, we become children of God. Uh, John chapter 1 verse 12 says this, Yet to all who did receive him, that's Jesus, to those who believed in his name, who gave, he gave the right to become children of God, children not born of a natural descent, nor of a human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. That's right, when we trust in Jesus, we become children of God. God is our Father. He is our good, good Father. The Father who will give anything to see us come back and be part of his forever family. So today as we celebrate uh, or, 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 or we lament the fact that today is Father's Day, I want us also to remember that we, if we're trusting in Jesus, are children of God and God is our Father. How about you join me as we bring this time together to God in prayer. Father God, we do thank you for fathers. We thank you for the special job that you've given them to play. And Father, I just want to thank you so much that when we trust in Jesus, you become our Father. Thank you that you are a father that will never leave us, never forsake us. Thank you that you are a father that will always love us and always do good for us. And Father, now as we come uh, to, to spend some time in your word, to be singing your praises, help us to, to focus in on you, to remember that you are the God in control of everything. You are the one that we come to worship. Amen. Well, please join us as we sing our first song, Good, Good Father. 